lot of people still shoveling snow off their driveways and sidewalks and finally seeing that pavement again. But it's not just those walkways that need special attention. Fire departments are asking that you make sure fire hydrants aren't buried in snow. 27 First News Weekend anchor Julie Bursick live in the studio with that story. Yeah, every second counts on a call for a firefighter and digging out buried fire hydrants. Well, that just tacks on more time to a call. Now, all that snow we got Tuesday, it's going to be around for a few days. But tonight, first responders are asking everyone to do his or her part to make sure they can get out there and do their jobs. There's snow everywhere. Take a look on your street. Do you have one of these? A fire hydrant buried in snow. With the uh, snow plows trying to clear all the roads off, they're burying the hydrants and uh, makes it very hard at 3 o'clock in the morning to try to find a hydrant. O'Hara says fire hydrants are spaced down every three to 500 feet apart. On a call, firefighters have to find them first. And if it's buried, we're not quite sure where they're at. The fire prevention officer isn't aware of any law requiring a person to clear snow from a fire hydrant on their property, but says most people do it as a common courtesy. So Poland Fire Department says if you have a fire hydrant on your property, clear the snow three feet on each side and also make sure there's a pathway to the road and the sidewalk if you have one. We ask this and they comply with it. Boardman police also reminding drivers to make sure snow isn't piling up on their windshield. If you're driving down the road and you clear off your the front windshield and your side windows are covered with snow, you're going to get into an accident and that's not going to be safe. So. Yeah, if that happens, you'd be cited for having obstructed vision. If you don't have a garage, the roof of your car probably has a lot of snow on it. Try to clear that off. If you drive around with a pallet on top and it blows off and causes damage to another driver, you can be cited. So in Pennsylvania, PennDOT says if snow or ice falls from your car and hits another car, seriously injuring a driver or even killing them, you can be fined up to $1,000. Dave and Erica? All right, Julie, thanks.